You watch the Hot Walk Academy. My name is Ming Jin Tong, and today we're not cooking. We're gonna talk a little bit about MSG. Let's talk. So I might start with this question. These four food items uh, in front of you, sea kelp, chicken eggs, uh, on the vine tomatoes, I've got some shredded cheese. What do all of these items have in common? They all are naturally occurring uh, sources of monosodium glutamate, or actually more accurately, um, they are really rich sources of glutamate, which is a protein. So um, MSG is very different than salt, which I have here in my right hand. Salt is a mineral, as you know, and MSG is actually an isolated protein with only about 12% of what's in this substance actually being sodium. So what is the rest of this made up of? Well, it kind of goes back to this story here. In 1908, there was a Japanese scientist who, enjoying the meaty, savory flavor that you get when you soak kombu or seaweed, these are kelp knots here, um, the scientists wanted to know, why is it that when I enjoy kombu or these kelp knots, that I really have a flavor of meat, almost like a savory essence. Today we call that flavor umami or that feeling umami. But that scientist in 1908 was able to isolate the part of kombu that gave food uh, that flavor into this product right here, which is MSG. So MSG is actually naturally occurring. But as you know, especially if you live in the United States, there is kind of an attitude toward this particular food item that's not quite the same as an attitude uh, toward this food item. So let's talk a little bit about that. Why is that? You know, I think you need to understand the origin of the scare that today is known as the Chinese restaurant syndrome that actually started in 1968 when a Chinese doctor wrote a letter to a newspaper saying, many people in the area have been having some symptoms after eating at Chinese restaurants. And his best guess in that letter was that this was the culprit, MSG. Now, many years later, the symptoms have been found to actually result from this product. Too much salt in their diet was giving them symptoms. But this is my conjecture. In 1968, that was only 20 years after the end of the Chinese Exclusion Act. From 1882 until 1943, Chinese people were not allowed to immigrate because there was a lot of fear around Chinese people in the 1880s taking over American jobs. And because of that exclusion, there was a very great distance socially between uh, the majority culture in the United States and Chinese people. With so few coming in, there really was not a lot of interaction, not a lot of time to be able to talk and get to know one another. And so a national attitude of exoticism or of maybe even some fear about Chinese people, Chinese customs, and Chinese foods crept in. And I think it was just such a time in 1968 when the editorial was published, now we have a actually Japanese product that was um, being named as the culprit for this Chinese restaurant syndrome. But today we know better, don't we? We know that MSG is naturally occurring. It is a amino acid. It's a part of a protein that you find in tomatoes, eggs, cheese, meat, and isolated originally from kombu. Now, what does it do? MSG, if I were to take some and just eat it, this is what I'm experiencing. It's not very salty. It's very crunchy because of the crystalline texture, but it doesn't really have a lot of flavor. When you add MSG to food, what it's going to do is it's actually going to more greatly pronounce the already existing proteins that are there in your food, 
or it's going to add a meatier flavor to any of your food. So go ahead and try this, sprinkle it into any of your dishes. And um, this is what I would encourage you to do. If you're gonna say make a tomato and egg dish, what you can do is you can make the tomato and egg dish and we'll make a video of that so you can see how and do a control plate and do a play with MSG. That's really the only way you're gonna know which uh, dish tastes like what, how does MSG affect the taste, but furthermore, does the consumption of MSG make you feel bad? You're probably gonna discover nothing will happen. MSG is an FDA approved food, it's safe to eat, and I, wanted you, I want to encourage you, try it, add it to your food, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.